Okay, so now let's say we take the same fluid, okay, and it's non-zero viscosity, right, the same fluid, but now we keep increasing the speed of this fluid, as you can see, the, we increase the velocity. What happens is, because of those, as you increase the, the velocity, um, I hope you can maybe see intuitively that this, the difference here in these velocities of these layers causes the shear stress and it actually causes torque. It causes a torque between these layers. And this torque obviously is this kind of rotational motion which um, produces these turbulent vortices. Okay, so that's as you increase for the same, for the same material, oh, sorry, the same fluid going over the same object, as you increase this flow, torque is produced, um, or these, these torques produce these kind of turbulent, chaotic, erratic vortices, okay? Um, that's kind of what happens there. However, if you want to reduce this kind of chaotic behavior, we can change the design of the object so that it has this streamlined shape and this streamlined shape would reduce that amount of chaotic behavior um, in the downstream side in the wake in, uh, at the um, at the back end of the object okay and um, they say here Um, for this, for that um, streamlined object, um, the turbulent wake is very narrow and the flow pattern is similar then to the flow speed, to the low speed flows illustrated in the, in the two laminar low speed um, scenarios. Okay. So they say that um, the fluid is still stationary at the object, but the fluid flow speed increases rapidly over the thin boundary layer. Okay, so I'd like to just introduce this boundary layer. The boundary layer is simply the layer where vis the viscous effects are significant. Okay, so as you can see, the velocity there is, is constant, but then it changes there, right? There is this kind of um, dropping off to zero. This is your effectively your boundary layer where you have this change in velocity profile. Okay? But the point is, make sure that you understand how turbulence comes about by increasing the velocity, the shear stresses increase, and it causes these kinds of turbulent um, torque. The torques cause this turbulent behavior. And then if you want to reduce the and and Basically, what this does is it causes there to be much energy dissipation, and if you want to reduce the energy dissipation, you streamline the object so that it has still this kind of stream, this um, this kind of flow, and it reduces these um, these turbulent wakes. Okay.